No more putting it off. This is incredible. Where's Lara gone? Where's, what are you doing? Why are we looking at this? Well, it's just my little introduction. I always like to show what's been going on on the channel of recent because I've got so many fingers and so many pies on different games, genres over 2000 video games reviewed on the channel. When things get popular, if something goes free, I can see the movement. And we've got loads with Red Dead, particularly on that PlayStation 5 by the looks of it. But some of the more interesting stuff is Back for Blood is sort of making a comeback with more interest in it. And I've got some movement on Dark Souls 3, which is pretty cool because that game got massively overlooked by myself what was Sekiro and Nier still really healthy local co-op and split screen engagement but what isn't healthy 4,700 people have gone past the channel in the last two days and I've probably got about four of them to subscribe so please commit please help me out and why would I want to help you out why do I want to commit to this sort of content well let me tell you a little bit about Lara and Laura I'll call her both names through the whole video always do She's gone through a lot of change. She's kind of like a barometer for society almost with her image difference over the last, let's say, 10 years. There are three major new Tomb Raider games, the Definitive Edition, the Rise of the Tomb Raider, and the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is what we're looking at now. And I reviewed the previous on the channel. I might do that original. My point being, the format has sort of been revised and it's almost sort of smaller open world style miniature maps that you navigate around crafting gathering it was a really cool injection to a series that had almost become a little bit stagnant and a little bit dated and that brings me back to her image yeah a lot of her curves have been dumbed down and some of the newest art has not been met with great criticism but i think it's just a sign of how video game characters have evolved to be slightly more realistic and relatable but still have one foot in the past with some of their previous imagery i think laura is a very good example of that facially he had she has changed over the last few games though that has been noticed by a lot of social media, a slightly more square chin. I spoke about this a little bit on the control review. I don't think it's anything to get too massively up in arms about. My point being in hindsight or in two or three decades when we look at this series, if it's even still going, we'll see a blatant rapid change in Lara's image. That goes for both the cheeks on the face and the other ones. You would never catch me resorting to such clickbaitery smut. Hmm. Whilst I've got the footage up, I did notice these flats that Lara's got on here. These I know it's in canon with the outfit, Aztecery, all that sort of thing, but I don't know. Those calves, something's changed with her. She, she doesn't leap out at me like she used to. But then again, we didn't really have an alternative. Boys, it's time. It's time to get your big stellar blade erect yeah, but it's not for you none of this is for you Lara doesn't wake up in the morning and think what can I wear today to make sure gamers are impressed particularly male ones that live with their mums I think that very much brings me up to my conclusion of that point is when Lara was incepted and imagined the audience that would be interacting with her was of a particular demographic in the 90s and the gaming audience has changed massively gaming is now mainstream and i think developers need to take on board that it's not just straight males that are playing their video games but there does need to be some middle ground some sort of regulatory office i'd love that where you go around and you sort of say look we're looking to reduce the size of these we're going to remove x y and z and they go through it and approve it some sort of official gaming ip character preservation governing body we have this thing in the uk for like old buildings they're called listed and you cannot change or meddle around with them otherwise you could potentially go to jail i'd love your thoughts on that in the comments are you going to bother talking about the video game in the title at any point yeah and i do want to say i did not get on with these puzzles in hundreds of sacrifices to get enough blood to fill these channels regulars or subscribers that have been with me for a while will be well aware of this but i'm a bit thick newcomers this will become 
blindingly apparent. Chronically, academically crippled, I think is what one school report said. But at the same time, I'm doggedly stubborn. And I compare going to Google to work out a puzzle in a video game to being a bit like stopping your car and asking another man for directions. You've, you've given up, basically. You're handing in the towel and saying, help me, I don't know where I am. And so I wait until the 11th hour. Now that can be quite literally 11 hours. Not as bad as driving around the back roads of London for two and a half days. That combination of dulled intelligence and pride proved to be an extremely bad one for a lot of the puzzles that you get halfway through or even at the front end of the game. But my memories of the combat in Rise were so good that it kept me going. <laughs> Is this one of the rebels? Despite all the advertised jungle and sort of luscious outside areas, it actually does go quite apocalypto on you. I think that's a good film. I can't believe Mel Gibson directed that film. It still stands out as a hugely amazing film. I probably mispronounced the name of it as well. But these interiors, this gore, the fire, the blood, all this great sharp sticks and almost Indiana Jones Temple of Doom style traps. It really pulled me in just at the right time. I was thinking I can't handle these puzzles and then bang, the aesthetic changed and I got really into it. Well, this is great, Koo, but where can I see a decent let's play of this game? You blabbing on about how unclever you are and how much you fancy Lara is kind of getting to me a bit. Go and see my boy, Mr. Farquhar. Content creator covers some really good games and Farm Simulator, and he has gone through some very cool sections of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I will put a link in the description, and you know, no one says your boy, any my boy, anymore. Y your age. Coop, that's a bit weird, mate. <laughs> the game comes with a few additions to its stealth and combat mechanic gameplay. Not too much has moved from Rise, which is very important because it's excellent combat, both range and close quarters, but you get to sort of hide within ivy or walls that have got a lot of foliage on them. You sort of disappear into it. Predator styles, awesome feeling. You jump out and stab them. So there's a certain bit of Metal Gear Meta put in there. Can I get a sub for Metal Gear Meta? Thanks. The Eye of the Serpent, that's it. Graphically also, this is a jump from Rise because of its three year difference in age, but I wasn't knocked off my chair. I've been recently playing a lot of games on my PC that I've looked at on my PlayStation 5 that aren't technically on the SSD, but have some backwards boost and there's just not much in it. With this, the differences are minor. I was expecting a lot more. This is running ultra, 1080, 60 frames. I will say it's underwater stuff is absolutely phenomenal and a lot more frequent than Rise. Loads of puzzles involved being in deep cavernous, maze-like, claustrophobic tunnels and you got to get to the air. But this game wasn't as impressive on opening as I felt Rise was. But that's probably because it really pushed the boat out that game. It was 4K and it wanted massive, expansive Hollywood-like environments, disasters, explosions. This one's a little bit more subtle. Rise feels like a damned uncharted game. It's that lavish with its front end visuals and tombs. So at this point in the game, I'm up to about hour seven, and I've only really twice been asked to use that sort of open format, go and kill a deer, make a dagger, do a bit of survival, upgrade at that little bonfire, and I'm really about to just jump ship and think I'm done with this Tomb Raider. The other one was loads better, and then it went full bone tomahawk on me, couldn't believe it. Again, for the second time, grabbed me by the collar and pulled me straight back in the fight. Yep, 
that'll do it. A bone-clad killer, diseased elf, and a shotgun. That's all a man like me needs. Mentioned before in the Rise video, but Lara doesn't have an allocated get behind something or toggle on toggle off stealth mode. She has a automatic crouch when getting near furniture and also like a sort of scuttle which acts as a duck if you need to get under obstacles. It does feel a little bit weird, you kind of do get used to it and you realise when stuff like this kicks off why something so fluid like that is being implemented, it keeps everything on a natural flow. Is this better than Rise? Don't ask me questions like that. Well, I've got to, mate, because you're reviewing it and you've now played both games. I prefer Rise because of my puzzle issue, and it doesn't have as many lined up against each other in certain sections. This gets more combat heavy after like the 8th, 10th hour mark, so it's very good. And you also get open plan area to work with, which is what I've been craving the whole way through the front end of the game. But I'm just, I'm just a Rise man as opposed to a shadow, but they're both extremely good. I'm also going to think about the original of those three. That's also sitting on Game Pass, and I saw it over on a base level PlayStation 4. Could probably do with running that one on Ultra also. three of those modern Tomb Raider games are really good. I do know about Temple of Osiris, which is up to four player twin stick and absolutely blinding. I'll put the link in, local co-op forever. Let's keep a very close eye on the new Tomb Raiders. I want pictures of what Laura might look like in 50 years on a postcard sent to the PO box. I have been Couch Cooper, we'll see you down there. There is no PO box.